this reminds me of my own classrooms. As, <laughs> as a child, as a youngster, in high school, and it was uh, always uh, under stress, uncomfortable. One had to uh, associate learning with, uh, with work, with concentration, with uh, paying attention, with homework. It's all work, work. But learning shouldn't be work. Learning should be excitement. Learning should be pleasure. And one should experience a constant sense of uh, progression and learning, and one uh, would want more. That is learning to me. And uh, a teacher is uh, somebody who will facilitate and show how to learn. Every kid that likes baseball knows every batting average of every ball player and every statistic. You, you just know it effortlessly without putting in any effort. Uh, so it was with uh, learning with Michelle, you know, it was, it was effortless. Michelle is a mentor. He is a person who believes as the teacher that he has the responsibility for your learning. I said to Michelle, Michelle, either you're the biggest fraud that has ever walked the face of the earth, or alternatively, you are someone who has been associated with more miracles than anyone I have ever known. He is a one-man language industry, but all he is concerned with is the art of communication. To those that have learnt with him, Michelle Thomas is the greatest teacher in the world. He runs a small number of highly exclusive language schools in the United States, but what goes on in their classrooms is a closely guarded secret. He claims to have completely removed the effort from learning, no reading, writing, or any form of homework, just listening and talking. Years of work apparently reduced to just days. And after teaching for over 50 years, he now has a very select group of clients. Michel claimed that he could teach me French, you know, over a weekend, three days or so. And I thought, you know, why not? This was years ago. It was a very nominal fee. And, um, I feel, what have I got to lose? You know, either the guy's crazy and I lose a couple hundred bucks, you know, or it's some kind of miracle. Uh, so I gave it a try, and he was, you know, amazing. Michelle has agreed to come to London, to the city in Islington Sixth Form Centre, to demonstrate for the first time ever the techniques he uses to produce his apparently miraculous results. He promises that with his method of teaching, even the most ordinary student can acquire in just days a depth of knowledge of a language that would normally take years to learn. Checking up on what Michelle manages to achieve will be head of French at the school, Margaret Thompson. I think there are different aptitudes for languages, yes. And I think it requires quite a lot of things like attention to detail that kids really don't want to be bothered with. Languages, and I'm talking more now about, yeah, languages generally, um, the way they're taught at the moment, um, require a lot of hard graft and a lot of attention to detail, a lot of repetition, a lot of things that students find boring. Michelle doesn't believe in the concept of an aptitude for learning or being a good student only good and bad teaching. Hello. But the pupils he has been given, who all volunteered for this experiment, would by most standards be classed as academically very average. What they've been promised is five solid days with Michelle in the classroom and the most astonishing educational experience of their lives. I'm very pleased to meet you and I'm looking forward to teaching you today. But. Uh, under better uh, physical conditions, because I don't think that uh, where you're sitting is uh, very comfortable. I would like you to feel comfortable. So we're going to rearrange everything here. Mr. As there is no reading or writing in his lessons, there's no need for desks or a blackboard.
For Michelle, no one can really learn unless anything that causes stress is removed from the experience. It's the driving force that informs every aspect of his teaching. Before, before starting, I'm going to set up a very important rule, a very important ground rule. And that rule is for you never to worry about remembering. Never to worry about remembering anything and therefore not to try. Never to try to remember anything from one moment to the next. This is a method with a responsibility for your remembering and for learning this new teaching. So if at any point there's something you don't remember, this is not your problem. It will be up to me to know why you don't remember individually and what to do about it. That's All these problem. students are doing vocational qualifications because they don't like exams. Paula has studied some Italian before but is completely new to French. Darmander failed his Spanish GCSE. He has never studied French before today. Abdul tried German but failed his GCSE late last year. And Anthony tried French for just a few years before giving up. Be comfortable. I want you to relax. Maria and Satvinder have both tried and failed their French GCSEs. And Emily was told by her French teacher at school to give up because she had no talent for languages whatsoever. Words in English ending in IBLE, like possible. And in ABLE, like table. They all come from French, and they're the same. They have the same spelling, the same meaning, except for the pronunciation, from pronunciation. I believe in French is pronounced Ibe, like possible would be possible. And A believe, because the letter A is pronounced A, A believe is pronounced Able, like table would be Table. Acceptable would be accept. Yes, acceptable. Yes, Tabla. acceptable. Yes, yes. And comfortable would be comfort. Comfort. Comfortable. Comfort. Comfortable. Right. Say it again. Comfort. Comfortable. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. yes. Have you ever heard the expression uh, "c'est la vie"? No. Mm -hmm. Se means it is. It is spelled C apostrophe E S T. Se means it is. How do you spell se? Say. C apostrophe E S T. C apostrophe E S T. Once more. C apostrophe E S T. Right. What was table? Table. Comfortable. 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 It is comfortable. Exactly. Say. They comfortable. Say it again. It is. They see. No. Once more, it is. Say comfortable. Yes. So once more, it is. Say comfortable. Say comfortable. Yes. I will dissect everything yes, into small parts and reassemble it in such a way that one will understand everything step by step. That understanding to learn and to know how to apply it in a practical way in putting it to, into, into sentences and more and more complex sentences and expressing one's own thoughts and not in memorized phrases. That is important. Will you speak French with me? Once more? Right. <laughs> no, vous like in voodoo. It's vous, voodoo. Okay, okay. Voulez-vous? Right. Speak French. Parlez français. With me. Pour moi. Not for I'm me. I'm sorry. Avec moi. Avec moi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, how would you say, will you go eat with me? Voulez-vous? Voulez-vous? Once more. Voulez-vous? Right. Go. Allez. Eat. Manger. With me. Avec moi. Right. Mm -hmm. Learning has to be knowledge. And learning has to be based on understanding. 
and what you understand, you can absorb, internalize, and becomes knowledge. What you know, you don't forget. You can block something what you know, but not forget. Words in English ending in ENT and ANT come from French, and they're the same. ENT and ANT is pronounced ang at the end. Like restaurant would be restaurant. You do not sound the T. So again, what is, uh, what is restaurant? Is it restaurant. Hmm? <coughs> restaurant. You always stress the ending softly. French ears are tuned into endings. So how would you say restaurant? Restaurant. Well, I, I only... Uh, how do you pronounce it? Could you tell me? Something? That's what I want you to do. The stress should be on the ending, not on, uh, not on resto. Restaurant. Right. Yes. So restaurant. always hit the ending, yes? Restaurant. Restaurant. A little better. Make it better. Restaurant. Yes. Restaurant. Restaurant. Mm -hmm. Restaurant. Margaret would like to get into the classroom to see Michelle at work. Thank you. But I mean, the idea of it being intensive like this is... But it, uh, it is not the intensity of the program that produces the results. Partly it's the method. Intent. I, I just, yeah. you know, I wouldn't want to see how these students perform after one week. I think it would mm -hmm. be fascinating. And I just wondered if I could see any part of your teaching. That would be difficult. Will it be? Yeah, because uh, already with uh, interruptions we have had with the... Yeah, uh, yeah. Could the, it really? Uh, yes. I sit very quietly at the back. If, even so, they, they feel that... Do they uh, feel inhibited? Yes. Maybe, maybe at the end. At the yes. end? Yeah. All right. mm -hmm. What, and for me here on, on, Friday? On Friday, Friday. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'd really like Friday. to do that. Okay. Okay. It is very important for you when you walk out yes, not to practice, not to try to remember, not to review mentally and to, not to test yourself and say, now let, let me see what I can remember. It's very important to leave it alone. This is still who play. Seal, vous play. So once more, not so fast, please, would be? Pa. So fast. Si vite. Si vite. Si vite. Si vite. Si vous play. Right, pas si vite, si vous play. So once more, what is to speak? Parler. Parler. You speak? Parler. Vous parlez. You speak too fast for me? Trop. Trop, yes. Pour moi. Oh, that you just said you, you speak too much. Ah. <laughs> no, too fast. Vous. Mm. Vous. Speak. Parler. Too fast. Vous parlez. Trop. 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 Vite. Trop. Vite. No, vite. 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 Trop. Vite. Trop. Vite. Pour moi. Right. Vous parlez trop vite. Pour moi. Mm -hmm. Will you or do you want? Voulez vous. Voulez How do you spell voulez vous? V O U S. L. Ending? E. A. A Z. Well, it, it, it goes here with. E Z. Right, very good. How would you say you want? Vous voulez. Thank you. Vous voulez. To begin, to start, or to commence is commencer. Ending? ER. ER. You start, you are starting. Vous commencez. Ending? Is it? Mm -hmm. Do you start or are you starting? Question mark. Commencez-vous? Commencez-vous ending? Mm. Z. What's more? Z. Commencez-vous? The commencé, and ending in commencé? EZ. EZ? Yeah. Hyphen V-O-U-S. 